Breaking news tonight, one person confirmed dead in a bluff collapse on a Lucadia Beach. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Several others were hurt. At least three people were taken to the hospital tonight. A search is underway for more victims. We have team coverage. News 8's Angie Lee spoke with witnesses, but first let's go to our Abby Alford with what authorities just had to say in a news conference. Abby? Carlo and Barbara Lee, a heartbreaking scene right now. We are just above Grandview Beach, where at the bottom of the stairs, about 20 yards north, is where this bluff collapsed. And behind us, you can see that there are still rescue crews still here on the scene. They are down there at the bottom of the beach where this bluff collapsed and killed one person and injuring four others. Uh, the rescue department, the lifeguard, says that around 2.50 this afternoon is when this bluff collapsed. They say it was a large slab, and it was very very heavy and it fell right there down at the bottom of the beach and drained five people, including one person who died. The rescue crews tell us that there uh, were one person died. There were two that were transported. Uh, one was transported by air ambulance with acute injuries, as well as another person was transported by ground ambulance with acute. They also say that there were two others who were uh, received minor injuries. One was transported. Another one declined uh, treatment. Now they tell us that the perimeter of this bluff collapse that fell right down on the beach as five people were hanging out on the beach is about 25 feet by 30 feet wide and probably about 10 feet high. They say that there are still large boulders down there at the bottom of the beach. This is a very popular place where many people swim and surf and as well as many people that hang out. The uh, State Parks Department says that often you will not see bluff collapses in this area of Encinitas. They say you'll see it further south in the Torrey Pines area. So to see this type of bluff collapse is very unusual. They are down there right now still checking out the scene. There are no more active rescues, but they are still searching through that rubble, trying to break it apart because they say that slab is incredibly heavy. Um, and as we also know that the rescue crews, they gave us an update about a half hour ago and they plan to do another news conference to update us because we do not know the ages of any of the victims, who they are, if they were all together as a family or if they were separate groups. But as we learn more information, we will keep you updated and we will carry that news conference right here on News 8 at 5. But my colleague, Angie Lee, she lives here in Encinitas and she came down here right when she heard about she was able to talk to witnesses and it's just a heartbreaking scene right now Angie thanks Abby um, this beach break is very close to home for me um, my boys surf here at Grandview so when this happened uh, all of my kids friends were getting text messages to what was happening as soon as I arrived here this entire uh, stretch of Neptune Avenue was blocked off uh, witnesses were startled as you can imagine in fact we ran into a number of friends that we personally know to ask them what they saw what they heard a lot of them shaken up, making sure that their kids were not down there at the time. If I can give you a, a sort of a clearer picture of just exactly where this happened, it is right at the bottom of Grandview stairs. And if you've ever been here, the stairs are pretty uh, a long trek down there. As you get down to the bottom, the lifeguards are to your right and it occurred just right north of the lifeguard station right there and that is a popular spot where people set up their chairs and umbrellas and and lay out in the sun and enjoy watching their kids get on a boogie board or surf right in front locals refer to that particular little spot as sandbags uh, locals that surf here so obviously witnesses that we spoke to were in shock some of them did not want to talk to me on camera a lot of them just startled frozen in fear one gentleman we spoke to said he actually was not surprised that it occurred. In fact, he knew he says that he kind of saw it coming with, you know, the, the erosion of the bluffs here along the North County coast. Uh, here's what he had to say.
Well, anyways, that witness we spoke to said that he was not surprised, but it was high tide at the time when this occurred, just around 254. So he wonders if the high tide had anything to do with it. As far as just the number of people that were down there at the beach, it's unclear just how many people, but I can tell you generally from just coming down here to Grandview, there's usually a good number of 20 to 25 people perched up enjoying the ocean. In fact, my boys went out for a surf session early this morning and we're just about to return this afternoon when this occurred. Obviously, we are all in shock. Our hearts are going to the families that are involved, especially the person that lost their lives. At this point, one person has died. Unfortunately, it is devastating news and four others are injured. In fact, when we talked to the lifeguards, uh, what they did say was that this particular bluff has a really, really hard Tory sandstone. He said it is so heavy that they will have to literally break apart the the mound that's there. In fact, they will have to bring most likely bring in a tractor. Um, I can tell you right now, just about three minutes ago, we did see a search dog, which we were told that uh, the search dogs were called in. So we imagine they're down there below, obviously doing what they can. They want to make sure they have a head count of who is it down there. Uh, they currently only told us five people were involved, four survived, uh, but there could be possibly more. Obviously, as this develops, we will keep you posted, but this is a very, very uh, popular break for locals, but it's also become a very tourist uh, friendly break because of social media. In fact, a lot of local surfers down in Grandview complain that all of the hashtags and the geolocation sites for Grandview has brought in so many tourists to the site, which normally is not known. It's so it's very popular now more than ever. Uh, the parking lot is usually super packed and it was a very busy day and very hot day as well. So right now as it stands, um, this stretch of Neptune all the way to Grandview is closed off. Uh, a lot of the people that were here surfing are still here kind of trapped with their cars in the parking lot. Uh, but for right now, I can tell you the mood is um, is very somber. It's very difficult to sort of um, gather because uh, it, this is something that none of us expected today. Unfortunately, it did, and we are doing the best we can to gather as much information as we can. That's the latest from Grandview. We'll go back to you now. All right, Angie, thank you very much. We're going to go up to the sky now. Deb Henke is live in shop right above that bluff collapse. You can see all the crews still standing far back from where this happened, Deb, because they really don't know how structurally sound the rest of it is at this point, if there's going to be an aftershock, so to speak. Yeah, quite true, Barbara Lee. In fact, we were flying about a thousand feet, which is our typical altitude, and we were asked to climb a bit higher, so we're closer to uh, 1800 right now above the scene. Angie painted the picture very well. Obviously, she's very familiar with this beach, which is very popular with locals. There's the Grandview stairs that she mentioned, and the lifeguard tower, and then where this collapse happened, just north of that lifeguard tower, about 20 yards. Um, she also mentioned this uh, dog that they brought in, this cadaver dog, I, I presume here, and there you can see we saw it running around the um, area where the the cliff had collapsed and now back with its trainers and uh, those folks in orange shirts they just got here about half an hour 45 minutes ago these engineers we presume and uh, again we were asked to climb a bit higher because they were trying to um, listen and uh, assess the condition of the bluffs at this point you can see this huge area that they have taped off and there are a lot of people that are still on the beach watching what's happening but uh, it has definitely cleared out from the scene we saw about an hour and a half ago. In fact, just within the last few minutes, the lifeguards and the fire crews uh, pulled away the personal items from the people that were here uh, right near the collapse here. Their beach chairs, we saw half a dozen beach chairs and boogie boards and, and beach towels and all the things you would bring to enjoy a day like today here along the shore and just such a sad day, but a, a reminder of just how unstable this area can be and these, and these bluffs are. So that's what it looks like from up above here at Grandview Beach in Encinitas. We'll send it back to you at the desk. Thanks, Deb. To give those of you who aren't too familiar with the area a little better context, we'll show you where Grandview Surf Beach is. Encinitas to the south, Carlsbad a little bit to the north. We zoom in to Neptune Avenue, and you'll see Grandview Surf Beach as our uh, map. We lose that for a moment there. You'll see Grandview Surf Beach, and Angie was talking about, or I'm sorry, Abby was talking about a little bit earlier, the fact that uh, this has become a very popular spot uh, among Instagrammers, and that's because it has this iconic set of stairs that go down to the beach 
beach right there. People take pictures of it. It's perfect for posting. Just to the north of that is that lifeguard tower that Angie was telling us about and you could see from Chopper 8. And just to the north of that, this is where the bluff collapsed. And as Abby told us, it was just a chunk that fell down. We're going to give you a little better perspective on that. This area is closed off right now as emergency crews are working the area. Unfortunately, Deb mentioned that they have a cadaver dog in there searching uh, to make sure that there is no one left underneath that rubble. I want to give you a little bit better idea, though, of what this bluff looked like potentially before this happened. You can see this is a picture taken just from the north of the spot. As we zoom in a little bit, you can see in this image that right there, that's the lifeguard tower. Those are the stairs. This, when you look at the collapse, you can literally see the erosion below this base. It goes feet in to the cliff. So you can see how a chunk of what is basically rock would come falling down. This wasn't a bluff collapse with sand and mud falling down. This chunk did not have support and basically collapsed onto the beach. Angie mentioned it may have been high tide. And one of the issues here is that there's not a lot of beach out here. So people may have pushed back from the water a little bit and were too close to the bluff when it came down. Barb.